Welcome back. Happy Monday. It's 841 back to school season. It's upon us. I know it kind of hurts the side. It might be starting to feel maybe a little overwhelming for parents and kids. The good news, there are ways to make the most of our busy schedules as you make adjustments to make sure that you don't miss anything and keep your sanity. OK, it takes a little bit of planning and time strategist Alyssa Smith is here with how to do that. Tips for families, really, I think it is about being prepared and planning a lot of it, right? You know, a lot of it is stuff that we always think about, but here's here's the switch that I want to have everyone okay. do right now. If we are actually going to be able to be productive and stay on time and not get overwhelmed, it really starts with knowing where your emotional triggers mm. are. And so you can plan mm. ahead, but you have to kind of just keep an mm. eye on your whole system. Like, mm. how is everything doing? Take a pause when you need to, mm. right? I love that. Knowing what your emotional triggers are because everybody has them and they're different. And kids have them when they go back to, they get stressed, you know? So if you put all the family members who are <laughs> getting ready for this big busy season in the same pot and they're all triggered for different reasons and stressed, it's it's really tough. Okay, let's talk about bedtime routines and the things mm -hmm. that we should all be doing each night to make those mornings easier. Exactly. So I love a good checklist. Okay, so we want to take as much responsibility off of you know, mom and dad or whatever adults are taking care of the kids in the morning. We want to take as much responsibility off of them as is appropriate for the kids. So if it, if your child is able to read and they can actually get some of the things ready the night before, it's such a good flow for the family. So check a chart off the night before, plan out everything for the morning, what you're going to wear, what you're going to eat, lunches, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you're not doing all that stuff in the in, at the last minute in the morning if you can. You're, just, you're setting yourself for bad day yes. a lot of times if you're doing that okay so also you say that you know where the bottlenecks are usually or you should or you could perhaps know them if you think about it so if you look ahead a little bit that's really the thing so kind of have an idea okay who has practice who mm -hmm. has music lessons who's got band practice and what time are the adults getting home from work and what's going on there and if you can look ahead and say oh hey on Thursday all that stuff happens at the same time <laughs> then you want to like really ask for help from the family members yeah. from maybe outside let's we'll see if somebody can run the kids to and from mm -hmm. something but just thinking ahead a little bit each week like maybe on a Sunday night just look and say when am I most likely to lose my mind this week <laughs> <laughs> and then do something about it like and you said exactly. don't just like wait for it to happen no. and like an hour Don't before slow, can somebody slow motion train help me? <laughs> and then again that kind of goes with the families that do have those packed you know yes. packed everything practices in school yeah. and activities it's kind of knowing that maybe there are certain days of every week that that's going to be an issue exactly and then just enlisting other parents enlisting friends enlisting the kids help to let you know hey this practice changed i need you know i need a different ride yeah. or something like that what about the shortcuts because i think you have some that is, that is the best thing okay my, this is my favorite point because so many parents moms especially okay like we're all guilty of this is we think that we have to just keep our nose to the grindstone and work really hard but the shortcuts are the key don't feel guilty don't feel lazy <laughs> order your groceries ahead mm. have a meal prep service if you if you can find an affordable one um you know at, hire the neighbor kid to walk the dog mm. on the mornings that you're or mm. on on the evenings when you can't so really allow yourself to take that extra time not just so you can survive but really so you can thrive oh. and don't forget to breathe oh yeah that's, that's the it right thing. Uh, inhale exhale good to see <sighs> you it's been a while i'm glad that you, you're back all right yeah. jim do you i want to just know you're right. not there in the morning like i wasn't there in the morning right. but we're there do you have any tips like what's your family tip to get through this busy schedule season not to be there in the morning <laughs>